How do you integrate a stencil plugin into another framework like React? I was trying to figure this out recently and ran into some issues, and there was not a lot online about this, so I figured I would make this with the solution that I found in case anyone else can benefit from it. So, first off, I have my two projects here stencil plugin, React app. Just groundbreaking names here, I know. Basically, what we're going to do is I sort of outlined it here. We're going to package the plugin up as if we had published it, and, and we're going to install it from that tarball. It's just going to be the same as if we installed it from that npm repo. Then we'll define the custom element, and then we'll just import it. And it's really that simple, but there's a couple of the caveats to go along with this. This There's some configuration setups where, like, I've seen that you should, that some people say import, from like dist loader or dist and uh, well it's custom elements and yeah I think um, if you don't have this then it it bundles all of them together and it defines all of them I believe that's how it's working but if we use this in your stencil.config.ts if we use this dist custom elements type then when we build we'll have this list of components so real quick, I'm just going to run npm run build, because this is what we would publish, right? And in our stencil plugin, we can see dist, loader, all kinds of stuff. But what we want here is dist, components, my component. And you can see here that we're exporting that, and that's what we'll be importing in uh, our React app. But um, I've seen people also importing from dist loader. That is what wouldn't work for me, so if you're having that problem, you're in the right place. But now we'll start with the actual implementation. So you have your stencil app, this is just the basic starter stencil component. Um, if you initialize the project, you run npm run build, you publish the package, or we run, in our case, npm pack, since we're doing this all locally. And I'm going to move our, uh, our zipped files here. So. I'm just going to move that into our React app. And then over in my React app, I'm going to npm install stencil plugin, that tarball, um, or you know just whatever the npm package is now that you're installing, if it's published on a public repository or whatever. So we'll install. And now we want to do this import. So we're importing define custom element from our specific component, and then we're calling that function, which will define the custom component for that, as the name may suggest. And after we do that, uh, we're able to use my component. Now I will run the React app after we installed and imported. I'm using Vite, so I have to use npm run dev. You might have to use npm run start, depending on how you set it up, but you'll see, hello world, I'm we didn't add any names because I just kind of threw it in there. But if we want to add some names to this, we can say that should work. There you go. Boom. Our stencil plugin is in the React app. That's it. it took me more hours than I am comfortable admitting um, to get that to work. Basically, if we go to Stencil Docs, Stencil is a compiler that generates web components, more specifically custom elements. These web, these web components that are generated Stencil can be used with popular frameworks right out of the box. So while you can use these framework integrations, for example, React um, with monorepos, Stencil does support uh, just these web components for other frameworks right out of the box. And that's what we did here. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Otherwise, don't forget to water your code.